Hi, I'm Jackie Jarrassy. Today we're going to be doing some very simple rubbing and tapping which energizes, heals, nourishes your body so you can do parts of this in your day. But practice this a few times watching this video. Maybe try this once a week with me and then add whatever you like to your day. So we're going to start by feet under the body. We're going to tuck in our tailbone so I'm not sticking out the belly. I'm squeezing that tailbone underneath. We're gently going to be rubbing the belly. So very gentle rubs. And do this with two hands. You can gently rub in a clockwise direction, which is the way the digestive tract works. You can use your knuckles as you get used to this. Really getting into all these soft tissues and organs and muscles is super good for you. It's super healing. Start gently and work out to the deeper ones. And then really tucking that tailbone underneath, you can very gently tap the belly, tap these lovely hip muscles. You can use your fists and tap quite vigorously, but only in a way that feels comfortable. I've done this a lot, so my body's used to vigorous tapping, but with you, you'd start super gently and work up over weeks to these. So all your love handles there. You're going to take this into the back and gently tap the kidneys. Try and keep the heels open. Shoulders back and down, so you're really opening the shoulders and really tap vigorously into the kidneys or the back. So if I really felt this area was a little sensitive, I'd do more rubbing and tapping, rubbing across. I could lean back and really rub up and down those lovely muscles in my back. Very good for my kidneys, my liver. You can get all the way in here. Super good if your back is sore. But just super good because everywhere you tap and rub, there's little energy points that relate to your internal organs. So there's tones, it relaxes, gets rid of extra fat, tension in the muscles, makes it all tingly and alive. We have a lot of tension in those wonderful bum muscles there for our hip sockets. So really using your knuckles and your hands to really rub around your fingers. And already this is energizing and healing all this area of the body. And then we're gently going to take it up around the ribs, onto the sternum there. You can just press in there. Sometimes that feels quite tight and sore. So if you can gently rub with your knuckle of your thumb into this muscle and breathe. Try and get the breath in there under the breast area, under the ribs, all these muscles that go around the shoulders are quite tight. And if you can really gently massage around the breast area, or you can do it quite vigorously just to prevent lumps and bumps in this area. If you get breast cysts, things like that, you'd start super gently, maybe just gently holding and just working in the areas that aren't too sore. But as you get used to it, like I am, you're really increasing the circulation and the health of the chest, heart area there. So really important to do that regularly. Then we're going to take it up to the throat. And there's your lovely thyroid gland. I can't speak and do this. You're pressing it side to side. And then we're going to take it up to the crown of the head. Little taps all the way over your skull. Never, never, never tap anywhere that's sore. Massage anywhere that feels uncomfortable. So as I go over my skull and I can take this all the way down those muscles in the back of my neck and even give it a pinch in those tight muscles. Tapping all the way under the skull, around the ears. You can feel it's quite sensitive around those ears. Super, super good for you if you get woolly head, been on the computer too much. Super good if you get migraines, headaches. But every way you're tapping is a little energy point that relates to your internal organs. This is good for the roots of my hair. It's making my head lovely and tingly. So I could do this very gently with my whole hand, with my fingers, with my fingertips. You can just gently brush off there any tension you feel. And then we're going to go into the ears with my fingers. If you see sideways, I'm just gently massaging around the ears, these little indents. And you just think healthy ears, 
healthy brain as you're tapping in the brain. Lovely taps there. I'm going to take it down to the forehead very gently. So if I was a little sensitive and I wasn't used to it, I could really gently press around my face. But if I'm used to it, I'm just going to tap around the forehead, come into the temples, come into the cheeks. This is all the lung area. So we have face reflexology. Every point in the face relates to your internal organs. So the lungs, the sinuses in the nose you could use the ends of your fingers you could use the whole of your fingertips there to tap and this is fantastic better than botox it's good for your gums your teeth you can be really vigorous there around the mouth and the face and very gently under your eyes there you can close your eyes and listen breathe all those little bags under the eyes this is good for circulation of your eyes breathing and tapping let's tap on the tip of the nose that's your heart area quite gently you can do this when you put your moisturizer on your face and then you gently brush off there with the hands and just brush off all that tension between the eyes and the face makes the face all lovely and pink and healthy rubbing the ears coming down I'm going to take that into one arm. So I'm just tapping first of all at the shoulder, coming down into these muscles of the arm. So this is toning the muscles. And when I'm doing this, whatever part of my body I'm thinking healthy bones of my arm, healthy muscles. You might do this very gently when you do this because you're not used to it. You can use a soft fist. I'm giving myself a wonderful shiatsu anywhere, rubbing. So wherever you tap, I like to also rub that area as well. Take it around the wrist area, doing some hand reflexology. That's all the hip area. Into the thyroid area, this is your head. In here, all the soft organs of your belly. The lung areas, those little valleys. Into the head, neck area there, you're massaging. You can tap the hands, pinch your fingers there. Really good. That's your sinuses, your brain area. You don't have to know the reflexes, but you can tap and rub. And already that arm is lovely and tingly. And you can just stop and feel the difference between your arms when you do this. And all the time I'm breathing, thinking loving kindness to my body, my arms, as I'm doing this. So it's going to be a nice tap, a pleasurable tap. So there's tons, all the muscles, gets rid of any fat or tension. It tones those lovely areas going up into the shoulder. You're rubbing, you're remembering to breathe, thinking healthy elbows, healthy wrists, healthy shoulders coming into the wrist area there. And you might stay longer in a particular area than I'm doing. You know, all the gut area, right into that thyroid area there, through the throat, the neck area, the lungs, the fingers. You can rub. You can tap your hands together. Really good for just energizing. You just end in a little brush off there. So you're just brushing off tension from the shoulders. And now we're going to take that down into the legs so I could just be gently just tapping wherever I could reach I could take my hand and tap onto my leg muscles it's toned and energizing all the time I'm thinking healthy legs healthy bones healthy muscles I could use my hands another way you could do it is just taking one leg out and can be really quite vigorous with these thigh muscles you would never tap on broken veins, you never tap on anywhere that you have uh, soreness in the muscle that's uncomfortable. As you get to do this, you can even tap a little more down through the legs. So I can tap this way, tapping. Then you might not come down this far, you might do this sitting in a chair. So I'm toning and rubbing and freeing polishing the knees, taking that all the way down for those who are used to forward bending, down into the feet, down into the legs. You can do both legs at once. Breathing, tapping, never tap onto the bone, just tapping into the soft muscle. Again,
again, you can do it this way, rubbing. If you want to do the feet, you can just tap the feet while you're standing. If you do want to rub something in your skin, when you do this, try coconut oil. It's a very nice thing to rub as a body lotion into your body. So I can rub all the areas of my feet. When you're used to this, you can actually come onto one leg. You could lean against a wall, have a little lean. How easy is that to tap your muscles and rub into your feet there. I'm so grateful for any attention. You always end up with, after tapping, rubbing any joints. You can use my flat hands, I can use fists rubbing into the feet if you can every day, really tapping into those feet. It's super, super good for you, just rubbing your feet when you can just find a way as you get used to it. As I say, you can do it this way, just tap. I can just tap and walk. I can rub and forward bend. Another thing you can do is imagine grounding hands on the hips and roots going down into the ground. Again, you wouldn't come down as far as me unless you practiced grounding, rooting, feeling that lovely connection through the muscles. And then as you do this, just notice, you can close your eyes and Put your hand on your heart and your belly and I can feel my whole body tingling, alive, energized. So it's great for toning your muscles, releasing tension, fantastic for getting blood, particularly into this area here that gets a little soft, a little squidgy, maybe it gets a little tight and rigid. So really take a moment to massage the body with some oil and tap after your bath and shower. Do this if you're tired, lethargic. Do this just to release extra fat in your muscles, extra holding of tension in your muscles. It's fantastic and your body will be so grateful. And when you're doing it, try and think as you're tapping and rubbing, healthy arms, healthy knees, healthy shoulders. Thank you for working so hard for me to that part of your body. So you're trying to bring your loving eyes, your gentle eyes, your kind eyes, your good intentions towards your body. Even though over here we have lots of judgments and criticisms, when you're doing this, it's a practice of your thinking, your listening, is this feel good for me? So love your body. It's your beautiful container that's gonna last you all your life. So this helps you stay well and your body will be so grateful. So practice, experiment, try this regularly and enjoy.